Breaking news this evening out of Pulaski County. One man in serious condition after a shooting. It happened near Bamboo and Hula Drive. That's located near Sherwood. The Sheriff's Office says the man was shot in the upper body. No arrests have been made just yet. Caregiver for us, Mitch McCoy, joining us at the scene right now. Mitch, we know that they're looking for a vehicle. They have a sus suspect description. Anything else they can tell us? Yeah, good evening. We're right off of Hula Drive in, in Pulaski County, just outside of the Sherwood City limits. The scene has cleared here, but uh, deputies are now, uh, I guess, spanning out along with some of the officers in this area to try and find a Mercury or tan Mercury Marquis car. Again, that's a brown or tan Mercury Marquis car. They believe that the gunman was actually inside that car when shots were fired. I want to show you again, the scene is cleared, but there was actually quite the scene just about an hour ago, many Pulaski County Sheriff's deputies out here on the scene. They got a call around 3.30 about a man that had been shot. We're told that the victim is a 19-year-old. He was rushed to the hospital in Little Rock where he is now in serious condition. Doctors tending to him right now. It's a little unclear what led up to the shooting, but I spoke exclusively just a few moments ago with the victim's sister. The victim's sister telling me that there was some kind of argument and that the the shooter and the uh, br her brother, the victim, know each other in some fashion. So this wasn't a random attack any, by any means. But according to Pulaski County deputies, that shooting happened around 3.30. Again, some kind of argument leading up to that shots fired. But coming up tonight at 10, hear from the victim's sister. You can hear a little bit about what led up to the incident, including how she describes the shooting and what led up to it. She telling me that she was actually choked by the shooter right before shot were fired. As we toss it back to you guys, it's also worth noting that we're right down the road from Northwood Middle School and schools actually being let out when shots were fired and that man was shot. And according to deputies, the shooter would have had to actually go right past that middle school and Sherwood officers to leave the neighborhood. Something that would probably be frightening for any kind of parent or law enforcement officer after something like this. We are live in Pulaski County. Mitch McCoy, KRK4 News. All right, Mitch, thanks very much. And if you have our mobile news app, you would have received an alert that looks like this. If you don't have it, you can download it today. You can count on us to bring you breaking news and weather alerts to your phone when you're on the go.